The B-Sides DC 2016 videos are brought to you by clearjobs.net and cybersecjobs.com, tools for your next career move, and Antietam Technologies, focusing on advanced cyber detection, analysis, and mitigation. I am Wasabi, and this is WCTF Magic as told by a clumsy magician. Uh, are there any children in here? <laughs> if your parents brought you, I am sorry. So. <laughs> I might drop an F-bomb, I accidentally say fuck once in a while, so, <laughs> and I'm not sorry. So, uh, joined the Navy 2001, did 11 years Navy IT, some of the cool, st cool stuff I did was uh, Mobile Comms Team 1, SEAL Team 1, Task Unit 3, uh, I did Nyack Maryland, just, you know, Pansy IT guy, turn it off and on, back on again. Uh, then I helped st uh, stand up Com 10th Fleet, which is uh, the Navy's newest cyber command. Uh, I worked for Admiral McCullough, who stood it up, and then I worked for Admiral Rogers as his flag IT for a year before he went and got real cool and got his extra star over at NSA. Uh, worked at a couple of different places with Raytheon, did a couple of stints at DISA, uh, worked on CFBLNet, uh, I was the HBSS SME for operationalization of the HBSS across the DOD gig. <laughs> I was too good at cuddling, they kicked me out. So, who is Wasabi? So I actually started doing real crap in like 2010. Uh, Wireless hacking, no shit. Uh, I'm on the Crimson... <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks, Dr. Uh, I'm a Crimson Agents member. Uh, I go to Unallocated. I was a key holder. I'm, a, I'm still a volunteer. Uh, proud tinfoil hat wearer. I do fun, cool things. Uh, I also most recently started at American Fireworks, and uh, I'm actually licensed by the ATF to blow shit up. <laughs> I am able to store, transport, and explode shit. Uh, the other handsome gentleman on this is uh, Mr. Casper himself, who is my team lead for blowing shit up. So yes, uh, we launch like six inch shells. Like, I hold it in my hand, it's like bigger than your head. And uh, sometimes shit catches on fire. Uh, that was 4th of July at Secrets in Ocean City. Uh, the whole front of that barge right there is on fire, and when we went up there to put out the fire, some unexploded ordnance actually went off right in front of our face. So, uh, the objective of this talk. Um, so while I'm not going to give you TTPs and SOPs on how to beat me, uh, I'm going to give you everything that I have learned from my perspective of sitting across from the table of the, the, the WCTF guys, struggling, failing, and then winning. So this is, I mean, this is from the, the point of, yeah, I, st I still lose, hardcore. <laughs> I was trying to uh, reflash a Raspberry Pi last night, and I DD'd over my image. <laughs> I wrote, from the USB to me. <laughs> so, speaking of failing, um, the very first time I ever went to a freaking B-Side security conference anything was B-Sides 2013, DC. And um, showed up at the hackerspace, uh, Forgotten was there, he's the guy in the bowler hat and the steampunk goggles, very great guy, sometimes. Um, he's like, hey, I've got an extra ticket and I want to split a room. I was like, I ain't got nothing to do this weekend, let's go to a hacker conference, right? I'm installing Kali Linux on a computer on the drive down. Um, it had never had uh, Linux on it before. I mean, like, I'm going from Windows to Kali. I'd ran Reaver once. I followed the life hacker tutorial on how to crack a web key. So I know everything, right? <laughs> so I get in there. I'm in a room full of hackers. They have never done any of this stuff before. I don't even know anybody. I'm in a back corner. Uh, I'm watching the presentation, the, the, the in-doc brief, and I'm just like, shit. So then I try to play, and um, my networking doesn't work. 
None of it does. It believes it's hardware disabled. I have, but I think it's because I'm hacked. I'm sitting there, and I'm like, well, that didn't take long. <laughs> so, because, you know, you're in a room full of, like, people that, like, wear hoodies and live in their mom's basement. So, of course, I've already been owned, because I, I really did not know what I'm doing. Uh, I was not 400 pounds at the time. I'm, wor I'm working on it. I'm working on my quals. So, after uh, three days of Googling, after running through forums about Asus and all the cards and adapters, the network manager, when you first boot it up, believes that it's hardware disabled. There's no button. It just thinks it's hardware disabled. But if you close the lid, wait a minute for it to go to standby, and open it back up, <laughs> networking starts again. <laughs> That time it was only three days. So, in, in, in point with that story, the only reason I have, as a team and an individually, I have won now six WCTFs. Uh, all, along, all along the East Coast, because I'm not cool enough to go to uh, DEF CON or Black Hat or any of that stuff. So, uh, I have failed, failed a little bit more, failed miserably right before conferences, uh, up late reinstalling Pen2. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to tell you about all this fun. So, the overview. I'm going to talk a little bit about the game, talk about the challenges, the methodology, team and solo strategy, offense, defense, and of course, everybody's favorite, gear. So. <laughs> so, uh, the WCTF, when you go in there, you'll see that they've got projected up the scoreboard. Um, same style as all kinds of other CTFs, right? Opponents, points, prizes. It's a Jeopardy style because uh, when, when you go onto the scoreboard, you can see down at the bottom like all the styles of flags. You don't have to go in any particular order. Uh, it's wireless, so there's lots of wireless things in the air. It's, it's not like another CTF where you plug into a switch and you start going. This is way more fancy and way more fun. Um, so, not everybody wins. Ha, you may not beat me this year either. It's literally going on right now, and there's a bunch of people in that room scoring points, and I'm not there, so I'm going to have to catch up. Loser! <laughs> so, for the game, it, it's not your standard, it's not your mom and dad's freaking CTF. If you've got questions, ask. Um, me sitting in the corner having problems, I probably could have got help. Like, I was just too scared and too embarrassed. Like, I literally closed my laptop and went back up to my room hung out for a second, you know, contemplated life, <laughs> put my laptop away because, you know, it's ruined because some dirty hacker got me. And then I came back down and uh, wandered the hallways of B-Sides DC, just kind of, you know, moping to myself. But uh, look, don't nuke it. Uh, I've never ran into somebody in that room that's not been like, hey, I'm having a problem, they wouldn't help you. If you have a problem today, come ask me and I'll help you. So don't get stuck. Don't be like me and spend eight hours of, a, of the wireless CTF trying to figure out why I can't break WEP. <laughs> so, I went down the rabbitiest of rabbit holes and nothing would work. Freaking Rick Melendig came, sat down right next to me with the slides that he teaches people how to do this with and it still wouldn't work. Don't hang, there's so many challenges. Go try something else. There are too many things to get you know, caught up on one thing. Lesson learned. So, the challenges. You've got your Wi-Fi, SDR, Zigbee, Bluetooth. They've just introduced way more Bluetooth. Uh, they don't have SCADA set up for this one, but uh, that's now more involved with it. Um, if it's Wi-Fi, they're trying it. Like, they've got, there's like nine access points set up. Uh, so, Try some things. There are like 15 SDR challenges, so don't get stuck on the first one. I swear, there's more fun to be had. So, it's wireless. Think outside the box. Uh, Internet of Things is becoming a thing. Um, sexy time toys are now Bluetooth. <laughs> There is, and I just turned yours up. 
You're welcome. <laughs> so there's actually a point to like you will scan and you will see things and on purpose you will actually not see things. Like it's these guys are super creative. It is staring you in the face and you don't even know it. So like try things. And if you don't know, ask. So methodology. Uh, there's some resources out there. Do your homework. Um, WCTF.us, tons of links, tons of resources, all their previous presentations, all the talks that they've given at different conferences, everything is there from every single conference. SDR Ninja, uh, what is it, uh, SIG, SIG ID Wiki is another one that you can find things. Uh, I've, I, just, I have the book Hacking Exposed for Wireless. You know, I don't have the Windows one because I'm not a cool red team guy. But uh, local hacker spaces, we just did classes. We did an SDR class. Uh, Corey from the Crimson Agents puts on a really great class. Uh, his presentations for that are actually online at uh, RTL SDR blog. Um, or you could be like me and build your own lab in your basement because you're single and nobody tells me what I can do in my house. Uh, I've, I, <laughs> your mom's a really nice lady. <laughs> great cook. So, uh, I have been paying way too much attention to the gear that they have, and I have actually almost completely emulated their lab in, or their game in my basement with like the same access point and the same gear. Uh, I saw what the Wi-Fi Fox was when I fin finally found it, and I went and bought one of those off of Amazon so I could train with my gear to their gear. I lost my son at the Annapolis Mall for an hour and a half because I didn't know there was a sleep timer on the USB. <laughs> We lost my son at the end. He was real good at fox hiding. <laughs> so, what do you do now? I mean, you show up, you sit down, you set up your radios, you scan the air, see what you see. I mean, you have the different kinds of challenges. So it's whether it's SDR, you scan the frequencies. If it's Wi-Fi, you scan the Wi-Fi's. You know, what are you seeing? What don't you see? And take notes. Take notes, take notes, take notes. Because if you've got seven antennas set up like I do, and then you, do one, one, uh, WLAN 1 mon for this, WLAN 2 mon for that, WLAN 3 mon for that, and then I go to do something else, and I come back and I go, oh, I want to do this thing too, so now I've reset WLAN 1 mon to do something else, and now all the stuff I was collecting and doing on 1 is now gone. Like, it's not collecting all the things anymore, and I'm not going to get enough IVs. So, get on their site, get registered, um, settle in, set up your stuff. It's... Uh, Go only, go only after what you're really going after at that exact second. Um, you're, do not over multitask because it's not just that you can't keep up with it, your system may not be able to keep up with it. If you've got 15 antennas hooked up, you're going to oversaturate your USB bus and you're not going to be collecting anything. So you're not going to get handshakes, you're not going to get IVs, you're not going to get anything. Break it down. Maybe just try out the SDR stuff, that way you're only focused on it. <clears throat> Google is your friend. Google is still my friend. I was still Googling stuff this morning. So, I don't know anybody that's literally gone in and cleared the board. So there are, there's 50 challenges. Go, go in there and try it. Have fun. Uh, know what you're good at. Try out the Wi-Fi if Wi-Fi is your thing. But you know what? I just, I went from Wi-Fi to now I'm doing Bluetooth. I just bought, you'll see some pictures. It's inappropriate, the amount of gear I have. So, what if you get stuck? Use your teammates. Uh, use uh, other people in the room. Uh, try a different challenge. Don't stay on the same one. Maybe go take a walk. Maybe go harass the vendors. Uh, steal pens, uh, bags. Get some swag. Come back. Uh, don't, don't be like me and spend your entire conference in the uh, WCTF room. It's pretty lame. <laughs> All right, so, don't be shy. You have to actually talk to people because if you're going to go out and look for the fox, they've na they named it Foxy, and I had to walk around and ask grown men and women as myself, are you Foxy? Because <laughs> they're not going to come up and go, oh, you're in the WCTF, here's that thing you're looking for. No, they're, they're hiding from you, and you've got to find them with signal. So I have to go up to people and go, are you Foxy? 
I kind of use that to my advantage a little bit. But don't be this guy. At ShmooCon, I was walking around asking who Foxy was with a shirt that says, Bearded for her pleasure. <laughs> yeah, the looks on people's faces. I mean, they don't know who I am. They don't know that I'm like, you know, not stranger danger. <laughs> and I'm walking up to them. Are you Foxy? All right, so... Team and solo strategy. Join a team. <laughs> um, so at, as my first story went, like if I'd have, if I'd have had like one teammate, like they could have helped me, they could have loaned me gear, they could have helped me like live boot from something to maybe get my cards working. Um, don't don't go at it alone. Like it's it, don't go huddle in a corner. Um, but if you're going to tr uh, try it uh, uh, on your own, get the most bang for your buck. Uh, there's different score values for all the different things. <clears throat> uh, go for the good points. Go find some foxes. Go do this. Go do that. Because uh, if you're stuck on the 50-point challenge, everybody else is scoring all kinds of other points. You're not going to catch up. So team strategy. Break things up, use your good uh, SDR guy, have your good Wi-Fi guy or gal, have all the things, Do uh, bring too much gear like I did. Um, if you don't whisper and you say a flag, I will steal your flag, I swear. Uh, when you go searching for the fox, that means somebody's still back in the room scoring other points so that you can rise on the board. Um, don't show up with 60 people. Don't be that guy or gal. Jerks. So, all my Crimson agents had the flu the second day because of the party. Um, <laughs> so I was by myself. And uh, pe people I know were really cool. Somebody went out and got sandwiches. I also was thoroughly beveraged at Charm, so I was miserable and somebody went and got me food and they were on their way back with food, they released the Wi-Fi hide and seek and uh, I wanted my sandwich and it just showed up. So I went running through the halls of the convention center to find this thing because I was determined I was going to get it. Um, it was at the registration table and I was not nice at the registration table. I'm glad they tolerated me because I literally pulled up the skirt of the table. I was rolling around, rolling around on the floor looking for this thing. It was in a paper cup behind a table leg in the back. I, I, I was taking up shirts, like they had them all nicely stacked and stuff, you know, like at a, at a store. I was the guy that did the... <laughs> Water included. So, offense and defense. Josh, in general, pulled off something cool at ShmooCon where he was uh, replaying like DNS where if you went to WCTF.us on their Wi-Fi, he was sending you to their old website and you had none of the current information, none of the lists, none of the points, no scoreboard. So offense and defense is in play. Uh, you're not allowed to do stuff that will get you in trouble with the FCC, like jamming or anything. but. Uh, you can absolutely just go in, not score any points, and just harass everybody with doing stuff. <laughs> it's possible. But defense is in play. Learn how to counteract that. Learn how to, if somebody does do that, how to avoid it. So somebody was red teaming, and I, had to f I figured it out because I'm looking for the uh, Wi-Fi Fox, and I'm looking at my, my Wi-Fi analyzer, and the signal's getting really strong, but it's a competitor, and he's walking right by me, and it's, get, oh, oh, it's going off, and then as he's walking away, it starts, the signal starts going back down again. He's replaying the fox in his pocket. So now, on my side, I have to, every time I see a good quality signal, I have to not look, at, uh, look around to see that he's not around so that I know it's not him. So I found the fox, and I turned it off and then stuck it in my pocket. 
and then went back in the room, and of course the WCTF team was harassing me the whole time. Oh, you're gonna find the fox? Well, everybody thought the fox was still out because of the other guy. So everybody was still seeing the signal for that MAC address. I, I can play dirty too. But uh, know how to counteract things. Know that other things are going on in the room and the reason you're probably having problems or getting the wrong IVs is because somebody else is being a jerk, which is allowed. Gear. So, <laughs> nothing I have is expensive. Um, you can go to Micro Center and get most of the stuff to participate. Uh, Amazon is, I, like my friend said, I need to like have a breathalyzer on Amazon to make sure that I'm like sober before I go on. Um, know your gear, know what it can do. If you show up with a TP-Lynx uh, 22N, you're only gonna see BGN. You're not gonna see AC. You might also need an AC card. So. Uh, know that your alpha does this. Know that your antenna is a 9 dBi as opposed to a 3 dBi. It matters. All these things matter. Test your gear. Don't do like me and show up to Delaware with the brand new Pentu installed and had not... I used it for the SDR class, so I had not done any Wi-Fi on it. Uh, I get told by the Pentu developer that morning that if I put my wireless card in monitor mode, it will kernel panic. Do you know how hard it is to get Pentu downloaded off a of hotel Wi-Fi? Yeah, in Delaware. They don't even have real internet in Delaware. I don't even know if it's a real state. Aren't they the first state that doesn't count? No, seriously, don't take it out of the box that morning from Micro Center and, and think that it's going to do you a lot of good. Uh, test things beforehand to know what it can do for you, know how far it can see things. So. I was walking around looking for the SDR Fox, and I've got my tablet, I've got the RTL SDR, and I've got like this uh, telescoping antenna that's up over the top of my head, and I've got like this booming great signal. And it's the exact same signal no matter where I am in the building. <laughs> so first Rick lets me know I'm an idiot because my antenna's too good. He's, you, you can't find something that's this small, right in front of your face with an antenna that's over your head. It's not good. So, he sent me on a, on a scavenger hunt for a paper clip. We actually unrolled a paper clip, stuck it in the end of my RT, uh, RTL, RTL SDR, and all of a sudden, that, that giant waterfall I was getting went swoop, and I was walking around and it started getting bigger and redder, and I found the freaking fox with a, with a, uh, a paper clip stuck in the end. So test your gear, know your gear, because having the proper antenna, a, the proper crappy antenna helps you find the stuff actually. You don't need the gigantic peri log periodic freaking, it's, you don't need them, allegedly. So I went from literally nothing. Like when I showed up at the very first B-sides, I showed up with my laptop and my charming personality. <laughs> like that was it. And then I started acquiring a little bit more and a little bit more. Um, you, can, you can participate relatively cheaply because uh, the Wi-Fi dongles are cheap, the SDR, like it's all in like the $18 range. So you, can, you don't have to get all of them at the same time, pick one and, and figure it out, but you can, you can get up and running with not considering the cost of a laptop. You can get up and going for under $100. So random bits and bobs that I've discovered. Uh, battery packs are great because uh, you're using your phone to Go around and look for the foxes and stuff, and if you run out of battery, you're not gonna find a fox. So the battery packs are great. Uh, USB hub, so the RTL SDR, the, the, the TP links, the alpha cards, all these things, you, when you're, so on the laptop, when you've got like the ports right next to each other and you're trying to shove all this in, like the dongles are too big for the slot. So, yeah, that's what she said, so. Uh, I have never heard that. If you've seen my truck, <laughs> uh, different radios. So Atheros, Intel, Raylink, uh, different radios act differently and sometimes people are specifically attacking speci uh, radios. So if it's not working on your TP link, switch over to your alpha card. 
Um, phone or tablet, there's some really cool apps on the App Store, uh, Pone Pads and or uh, Net Hunter, all those things, uh, you can get uh, cool apps to help you find things, and then homemade stuff. So, because I didn't feel like always having to hold on to that uh, paper clip on the end of my RTL, I took a RPSMA to BNC uh, connector and I hot glued a paper clip into the end. So now I have a professional grade <laughs> paper clip antenna. Uh, it helped me find the SDR Fox that was in a tree for Corey's class. Like we, we're, in a, we're in a park area and I found it in the tree. Because like when I, when you're far away, the signal really sucks. But when you start getting up closer, like it, it's, it starts focusing in, your waterfall starts opening up, like you're, you're in there. So there's not a picture from my first B-Size DC because I didn't take anything, so I can't take a picture of nothing. Uh, for 2014, that's my little cool setup there with a the little Pelican and my, that's actually the laptop with the networking problems, by the way. Um, and that's Dan from uh, the, the WCTF team. He has a USB hub with a bunch of antennas stuck in it. So the next year, what do I have? I have a USB hub with a bunch of antennas stuck in it because don't reinvent the wheel. If somebody, he went in there and won the competition, so why don't I just get the stuff he's got to win the competition? So my gear progressed. So now, the gear I brought to here today Actually, uh, there's not enough laptops in that picture. I actually have four laptops here. Um, so the bottom right corner is now all the SDR stuff because I'm trying to do SDR. Uh, those are four Wi-Fi pineapples. Uh, <laughs> Why don't I need four? I'm an adult, I do what I, I'm single. Nobody tells me not to buy crap. So, my mom is a nice lady, how dare you? So, uh, there's AC cards, there's alpha cards, there's uh, the TP links. Get those really cool bags in the front uh, with all the, with the bungees and stuff because uh, it holds your gear real nice like and keeps it, uh, keeps it safe from the bottom of your bag. I'm also currently working on something really cool right now with Warcaller to make a uh, war walking rogue device detection thing that's going to go in like a, uh, uh, an Xbox controller that you can walk around and find things. So, uh, so limit, limitations. Uh, do not do the 20 hub uh, USB thing because uh, your processor can't take it. The bus can't take it. Don't lose track of your work. Know what you're working on, know what you're doing. Uh, focus in. Uh, your computer may just crash. You do not have the resources unless you brought your gaming rig to do everything at the same time. Know what your gear will do for you. I keep talking about that. So. You know, like, like college, like when they stomp when they're telling you the answer. So. This one's fun. I had it on good intel that the uh, SDR Fox was going to be at the ShmooCon party. And uh, Corey let me borrow his uh, Hack RF with the port pack and I had a little floppy uh, VHF antenna on it. And I'm walking around looking and, uh, I mean I'm working, but I'm playing as well. So I had had like nine ciders, uh, we were doing uh, all the things for a fallen comrade, so I had had uh, a plethora, plethora of white Russians. Um, I was thoroughly beveraged, and uh, about an hour after not finding anything, the uh, WCTF team came up to me and goes, uh, have you been looking at Twitter? I'm not looking at Twitter, I'm trying to find the stupid fox. So the fox left an hour ago, so I'm literally walking around looking for nothing. <laughs> So I'm the weirdo with this stupid weird gear in my hand. So I decide it's time for trolling. 
So like the TSA, I started wanding people. So this is that weird gizmo, and I'm walking up, like literally, ah, visa. <laughs> the looks on people's faces. At Delaware, there was a guy that had heard about me from other friends about the guy at the party stealing people's credit card information. <laughs> this does not do that, but it's just this gizmo that like, not everybody does wireless, so they don't know that that's a hack RF with a porta pack. It's some weird guy at a hacker con party that said, huh, MasterCard. <laughs> I was thoroughly beveraged. I don't recommend doing some of this stuff because people might get mad. And I'm fluffy, so I might be able to take a, like a punch to the face, so. That was my protege for B-Sides Charm when we won. Uh, give back, help other people, bring everybody into the fold. Let's do this in the hacker community, all right? Thank you. Thank the Wi-Fi Village. Thank you, B-Sides. Thank you to everyone.